Hi everyone, welcome to Acres of Clay. Today I'm working on treating some lumber that I bought that was not pressure treated. I wanted to save myself some money and treat it myself because I have an upcoming chicken run project that I'm going to be working on and I'm going to show you guys that once I get everything um, treated. Around here, treated lumber is about twice the price of just regular lumber. What I'm going to use is old used motor oil. I'm going to recycle it and I'm going to add a little bit of diesel fuel to it to help the wood absorb the oil better. What I have here is an older 2x4. The older the wood, the more it can absorb and it will just soak it right in. But this newer wood isn't going to absorb quite as much. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to brush it on this afternoon, let it set overnight and do another coat tomorrow. You, any kind of used oil. I guess it doesn't have to be motor. I think there's probably some hydraulic oil in here. And it doesn't matter the weight of the oil. So I got about three parts of the oil. So I have about three parts oil to one part diesel. Some people use a little bit more diesel. I'm not going to for this application. Some people use straight motor oil. Now you can do up to 50-50. 50% oil to 50% diesel. That will help absorb the oil a lot more. But I'm not a big fan of smelling like diesel fuel. And so I think this will use, this will work just fine for what I'm doing today. I, this is um, stirred in really well. Um, I just use a stick to stir it. But what you wanna do is, if you're gonna do more than one coat, you gotta remember that it's gonna get darker the more coats that you put on. So this is, just, I just brush it on and it's not like I slop it on and it's gonna run all over. I'm pretty careful about where where it's gonna go. You want to do all sides and you want to blow one minute. Remember to wear some gloves. There's nothing worse than having oil and diesel fuel all over your hands. I want to show you this board and how much it absorbs and how much darker it will be. This board has been, um, I'm not sure where this board came from, but you see how much darker it is? I actually like this color. I think it's pretty. But I'm going to give this at least two coats. That way it does turn a little bit darker. You want to pay particular attention to uh, if there's gouges or if you have like um, a cut in it, even this knot, you're going to want to put a lot in there and it will, it will just suck it right up. So there's a, when it has like a sliver broken off of it, that's a great place for water to just soak in when it rains. So you want to make sure you coat that really good. Oh, I hear a kill deer. That's like the first one this year. One more thing I wanted to let you guys know, if you plan on treating like posts that you put in the ground, this will work as well. Yeah, make sure you soak those really good and they'll last for a long time in the ground. So I'm going to finish this up. I've got about 20 more boards to do. If you all want to see what I'm doing on my chicken run, be looking for a video on that either by the end of the week or maybe next week. If you liked this video, consider subscribing. Hit that like button and share it with your friends. Also, hit the bell and that will notify you every time I put up a new video. Well, until next time, be blessed.